All right. So we're going to talk about Concert in Silver Streams, Maryland. Um, Falling in Reverse, Wage War, and I forget the opening name. Um, it was, I think it was the only one that didn't require a COVID vaccination, so I went to Silver Springs Beyond to go see it. I was going to get an eye tattoo that I put a deposit down for at um, Inksomnia. And I think it's in Johns Creek or um, Alpharetta, I forget where Inksomnia is, uh, to see if they could fit me in. Uh, but it was too big and they couldn't fit me in, so I went to get my hair done instead. The day of the concert. Uh, the hairdresser spent four hours on my hair. It cost $400. I gave $69 tip. I think I gave $10 to the shampoo guy and then the rest to the uh, stylist. Four hours. It was dark blue and silver. Yes, he had to uh, wipe my hair out. It didn't look like this when he did it. Uh, but it was dark blue and silver. I freaking loved it. He took videos or pictures of it or something. Um, I took one. I put it on Facebook, I think. $469 ruined in three days. Bleach or peroxide or something. I didn't know about Nair until I went to the second hairdresser that I asked about it. If, if she could tell if it was bleach or peroxide or what they were doing to my hair. She said it was the stuff that you put on your arms. And I'm like, I don't put anything on my arms that would ruin my hair. And then she said Nair. And I was like, who the hell puts Nair on their arms? I don't know. I guess you do. But I don't. So Nair on my hair, falling out. It doesn't work that well. I don't even know why it's still in the market. So it's just randomly falling out. It's much more than I had a ton of hair in high school. When I got my perm, like freshman year, I think, or sophomore year of high school, the hairdresser, Terry, said, girl, you have got a ton of hair. This is going to take forever. She's like, right here, all of this business. Like, How, where does your hair end, girl? I'm like, mm -hmm. I used to have a ton of hair. Gone. So $469 out the door in three days. Dark blue silver. I spent uh, $60 a bottle on Aveda. One bottle of conditioner, one bottle of shampoo, the big one. Ruined it. It worked at first, one shampoo, because I would touch it and it felt like it would crumble in my hand. One shampoo, that stuff is awesome if you need to. Uh, put the crap in that, excuse me, the uh, whatever the stuff it was, in the Aveda shampoo. $60 a bottle of ring. Plus all the other shampoos that I bought. Uh, plus, I was staying at random hotels because I was trying to get away from these freak shows. Apparently, I don't know, they just take over the hotels or they switch the shampoo and conditioner that they give you in the room. Um, all up and down the East Coast. Probably the most, most north was rest in Virginia, D.C. area. Most south was definitely Miami-Dade. Most uh, west was, I guess, Nashville that I couldn't even stay in because they said I didn't make a reservation. I'm like, well, it's right here on my phone. It's on the computer. Um, that, yeah, that was the five-day straight staying up. I didn't even realize I was awake for five days until I'm driving back from Orlando going, wait the heck a second. I haven't slept in five days, looking for my children, trying to get away from the freak shows. So anyway, and then, and then Birmingham, a little southwest. Right. So, stolen property. Whole lot of clothes, whole lot of shoes, uh, three pairs of Birkenstocks, uh, seven pairs of boots that I bought from China via Amazon. I bought one pair, I never, I think, I, I think they were delivered. And they were stolen after they were delivered. I remember them being delivered because I got them delivered to the uh, Thunderway house. And then I don't remember what happened after that. I got the box and they must have stolen them from my hand or something. And I don't know. So I order uh, six more pairs. I'm thinking I ordered, I ordered the nine the first time. I'm thinking, well, they're boots. You're supposed to go a size bigger or half size up. So I ordered three pairs. They had three colors. Three pairs of nine and a half, three pairs of tens. One in each color. I'm thinking, I'm going to wear those motherfucking boots every day of the goddamn week if I ever get them. Never saw them. I saw someone that looked like Joe Edo in the post office in Alpharetta with a big box, and I thought it had my name up, but I glanced, and he covered it up real quick, and he went in the background. So maybe they were my boots. Maybe they weren't. I don't know. That, they were shipping to me right when I moved from the Echo apartment to the Courtland Lex apartment, so who knows. All right. Uh, so a whole lot of clothes, a whole lot of shoes, a whole lot of stuff. Uh... Skincare products, Origins, was what I used to use until they 
where someone would put it smelled like Crisco one time on my face lotion. I have I usually wear face lotion with sunscreen because my skin is so fair and I don't like to get sunburned. Um, makeup gone, just gone. Um, in high school, senior year photos, I went to go rush out the door because it was early appointment and I threw some makeup on and I'm looking at my makeup. It looks like Allie's makeup on my face. I, I don't have orangey, nasty skin out. She ruined my fucking makeup or Aaron did or someone did. I don't know, but I didn't have time to change it. And I was like, whatever, I guess I look like a freak show in my stupid high school senior party. All right. So anyway, back to, uh, yeah. Two cars recently stolen. I bought the 2015 Renegade uh, not long before the divorce, which I, the divorce was final September 2021. Uh, Renegade is a 2015 Renegade 4x4 Latitude, four door. It was orange when I bought it. Um, <clears throat> manual transmission. I got a car from Carvana. I traded in a um, a third row Highlander that had the pilot seats, dark navy blue. <laughs> Because I didn't think we needed the third row anymore. We need, no one ever liked to sit back there. It's not very comfortable. I always got stuck back there anyway when David was driving. So well, the only reason we needed to go to the lake house and I wasn't going there anymore was after the divorce. So I got a smaller 4x4 in case I had to pick the kids up from the lake. And um, Bridgecrest Low. Uh, it had seat warmers. It had an LED display for seat warmers uh, near the stick ship. Just slightly up. It was orange when I bought it. I saw one similar in downtown Athens. It's yellow now. Like banana yellow. Maybe it's mine, maybe it's not, but it drove like a manual, so it's probably mine, because I hate yellow. It's my least favorite color. So then um, they switched that car, apparently, with a car that didn't have seat warmers. And had I remembered about the LED display, I would have known it wasn't my car, but I did not remember that right away, and I always keep stuff right there, like everyone else in the whole world. So out of sight, out of mind. I told Robert Michael Hodes, Jr., at the Alpharetta Police Department that I don't know if that's my car. I don't know if they're driving it without permission and switching parts and stuff, or if they just totally switched the car. He said, well, well, I guess we'll figure it out or something. He didn't say, we'll be in touch, whatever. Michael Rice was there with hose on his shirt too. Uh, Dallas Williams was there. Uh, I, apparently nothing got done. So come January of 2022, I go all the way out to Canton thinking maybe they won't follow me to Canton. Shot and Kirk in Canton on like Liberty Boulevard or something. I explained the whole thing to them. I'm like, I really don't know this is my car anymore. The mileage was way off. I didn't find that out until after I went to the headquarters in Alpharetta. So then, by then, I was certain it wasn't my car because I pretty much remembered about the LED display and the mileage was way off. And I'm like, uh, well, I don't think they could even drive that much on a city. So they said they would figure it out. They offered me 10K for the trade in, and I gave them a $33,000 cashier check for a 2018 Rango JK Sahara 4x4 two door hardtop that was white when I bought it. Uh, I think it's dark red now. There's one running around here, Athens. I saw it one time. I haven't seen it since. So what they did to the Wrangler, drain the coolant all the time. Switch the oil. I put synthetic oil in. They switched it to regular. And they lower the oil. They don't like borrow oil or they don't put enough in when they switch it out or something. Or they put their old oil in my car and t take my new oil or something. I don't know. I don't know what they do. But there's oil missing from my car all the time. Uh, they drain the coolant.